All right, guys, welcome back to more. Let's play Crash Bandicoot. So we're going into the lab because we need to get the colored gem out of this level. And we need this color gem in order to get the color gem out of lights out. And then we'll have all the colored gems. So we should be fine. I got, I got really close in a couple of... Uh, Videos that I scrapped because it was just absolutely no progress. So I just, I didn't want to have those as future videos. But, uh, it's given me some good practice on this. And here's hoping that, uh, that is able to get me through this level. I'm still having trouble with this dumb warp zone, though. Because that bounce crate above a bounce crate. That was necessary. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, because that's necessary right there. Absolutely necessary. And, like, honestly, I really think that I can do this, too. I just, I just need to get there. My mind and my thumbs just don't want to agree on what we're doing. Like there. And then once we get this, we can get the one in lights out. And then once we get the white one in lights out, we can get every level's gem. Then we can go through, get the relics. There we go. And then uh, once we get the relics, we can get the last ending. Well, we don't even need the relics for the last ending. We just need the relics for some trophies. That's all. So, I mean, we'll end up like... Um, I don't know. Like, I think we have... The third level, which would be the Great Gate that we can do. Um, we'd get the gem in that, and then we would immediately go back into that and get the relic. And then, I mean, it, it'll it take a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. I don't know why that did what it did. Good. Oh. Okay. We're going over here. We can hit the TNT there and then just jump back here. Alright, that puts us to 30. With this at 31. Oh. Yeah, I saw that. Um power might go out soon. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get this. But I don't think I'm gonna get this. I'm jumping around. Oh damn it. Uh, the flashlights would be in the junk drawer. Yep, that drawer. So, just in uh, shoot, and I did not get a lighter for our candle either. Okay, well, I know I can jump around that guy. I've done it. Um, I just need to. So, this one might also be scrapped. Uh, because the power might go out and might cut my recording. <laughs> that would be funny. And I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be upset if it's the recording that I do get the uh, uh, the thing in. Thank you. All right, that goes there. All right, and let's go back through this. Cause why not? Cause my life isn't hard enough already. There we go. All right, get out of here. Wait for it to go. I always seem to hit those four, which is great with that green blob guy. Alright. So, let's try this bonus round again. I love it so much. Well, that was honestly easy.
two, three, four, and five. All right, that wasn't bad at all. That was actually pretty quick for the bonus round. All right. Now this one I can spin. There we go. All right, get the floor. Get the door. Jump through the door. Dodge the potion. Jump over here. TNT. Nice. All right, now we got this area again. All right. There we go. Oh, okay. All right, there's one. And this puts us to 33. So this is the last room before the... Uh, oh, I should have gone there. I'm just spinning this to keep the door open. No, that's a bad one. That's also a pretty bad one. That one's pretty good. I did not get the jump off. Damn it. And if I had gotten the jump off, I could have made it. Although I'm, I'm curious about something right now. If I get the... Uh, if I get to that area, I think I might be able to jump behind where one of the computers is. That's a bad one. Alright. Boom, boom. Alright. Nope. Oh, can't believe I did that. Okay, we're gonna wait. Now, can I jump over to here? I can. Okay, so that's actually good to know. We'll try this again. Try it for a third time in this video and still get nowhere. I think one of the bulbs is out there too. That's great. <laughs> that was a fat cat. All right, bonus token. Bonus token. All right, and then we can get through here, dodge the slime guy. All right, I'm just going to let it go one more. There we go. Boom, boom. Ooh, got caught on a corner there. All right. Let's try this again. All right. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I mean, I don't need all these lives. I mean, I have, I have plenty. All right. There we go. All right. And we have to go through a long portion of level before we get another box. All 
Ah, então. Boom. Jump over here. Let's put us to 30. And 31. Alright. Beautiful. Okay. Back to here. It doesn't take that long to get back to here. Yep. And then we're going to do this. Haha. <laughs> All right, and there we go. We're gonna get the gem. Beautiful, finally. Huh, I think I spent an hour working on that one gem in total. All right, and that's the green gem, I wanna say. I, I don't really know, let's... That already got the green gem. Maybe that was the orange gem. Though I always thought that was the orange gem. Uh, no, I'm gonna go with that's more of the green gem. So now let's go get the purple gem. All right, lights out. Alrighty, purple gem. This one should not take us that long, I don't think. All right, ignore the time trial. And let's just walk forward. Now I'm hoping that like when the time trial for this level comes up, that like every non-Aku box is a time crate. Like that checkpoint would then become a time crate. Alright, we'll do that. Ooh, that was really close. Oh! I, I hesitated a little too much there, I think. So, I wish there was just, like, a restart with no deaths. Instead of having to quit to the loading screen, get to the island, go back in a level with the loading screen, to then start the level again. I wish there was an easier way, honestly. Then I think after this one, we'll only have eight gems left. Still have technically 18 relics to do, which I'm hoping for quick, easy relic runs, honestly. Now we've already gotten a couple, which is great because it's the levels that are super easy to relic run, which would be the hog levels and... Um, uh the the boulder levels those are the probably the easiest ones to relic race not counting the very first level so all right we'll let this go all right now we'll be on there we go all right we'll let it go forward and then we'll let it come back this puts us about halfway to where the gem is. Alright. We'll let the rats fall. There we go. Alright. Nice little continue point. We'll wait for these rats. There we go. Oh, oh. Not entirely what I wanted to happen. But this should be fine because we're going to come up on the gem. There we go. This should just take us all the way up, right? Yes. And there we go. Purple gem. Sweet. So that's all the color gems. So now it's just going back in the levels. 
and clearing out those gems and getting some relics as well too. So we're in really nice cleanup mode right now, which is great. We have all the color gems and those were probably the harder stuff to get. So now it's just upgrading. I think we have one Sapphire relic that we need to upgrade. Uh, and then we just need to get a bunch of gold and platinum relics. Now, some of these levels are going to be ridiculously hard, like the Temple Ruins, the Lost City, uh, Sunset Vista. Those are going to have some long relic times. Really? Rolling Stones is my only Sapphire? All right. Well, we have gold, platinum. I don't need to get platinum for everything. I just need to get gold in everything, and I'll be good. So, next level, we're going to do the Great Gate, uh, get the gem, hopefully get the relic. And then we'll try the same thing for upstream. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys then.